All right, so finally continuing on with my coloring book collection. And let's start with uh, these uh, Guardians of the Enchanted Forest series. There are three. I have one in uh, German. Uh, these are by Forest Diver. Utterly adore her books. Let's see what I have in these pictures. In these books, I mean. <laughs> Uh, so, in the Hidden Spirits of the Enchanted Forest, I have uh, probably, I think I've taken most of my finishes out, so I have some works in progress here. These are just water-based markers. This is alcohol marker and water-based marker. I have marked my favorite pictures. I mean, like, yeah, I just, I don't know why I don't. Uh, coloring these books more. I guess it's the paper, but uh, it's not as if the paper is so horrible. I think it's also that the designs are so big. This one is almost finished. It could be finished. It has some little gel pen, and right now it just has a alcohol marker base. Um, but I think I want to go in and shade this a bit more. And we have this one in progress. This one I don't like how it's turning out. It has uh, alcohol markers and then I've started dot shading a bit. You can see in the whale there. Uh, I think it will probably be better when it's finished, but right now I don't really like the colors. Then let's see. Just a few berries colored there. I adore these designs. Uh, this one could also be finished, but uh, I would want to shade this a bit more. It's done with alcohol markers right now, and uh, yeah. Adore it. I love the uh, colors, and I also love the... look at that! It's so cool, the back, uh, the back side there. It's as if it's a pattern. Start with that. It's a little mermaid there. Maybe I could color that for mermaid. I have been so bad at coloring this month. <laughs> I thought I would do more mermaids, but I really haven't colored. Yeah, I had like a hiatus of two months also. No, two weeks. Not a hiatus, but like, yeah, I don't know. I didn't color, I guess. That's fine. It's all right. So yeah, the markers are my uh, favorite pages that I want to do. Yeah, I just, I love this. Mm, let's see. Oh yeah, this one is so close to being finished and it's been a work in progress for ever. <laughs> uh, it's so close. Uh, like, he's done, the background is done, everything is done except the leaves in his uh, cape there. You see, some of them are shaded, but some of them are not. I have the polychromos I'm using written here. Maybe I could finish that this month. There's, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what I do after this video. Maybe, maybe. Mm. Don't know if there's anything else here. Nope. Next up we have, I don't know, <laughs> this one. <laughs> um... Oh yeah, this one. Kind of similar to the first page, the color choices. Water based markers and alcohol markers. And maybe, yeah, I think there's some shading with ink tents on top also. But it's far from done. Let's see. Might be it in these books. Oh no, okay, there's another work in progress. Alcohol marker base. Yeah, that's it. Okay, and then I have a few finishes in my folder as well. Let me find them for you. Here we go. So we have her. Uh, again, I think it's just water-based markers, alcohol markers, pencils. I don't think it's even any ink tans. Then uh, this one is ink tans and polychromos. 
Then I have her. Bought the best markers and polychromos. Her hair is shaded with the blue. It's kind of weird, but I kind of like it. This one is what the base markers and polychromes again. And then, oh yeah, we have these two as well. This is um, alcohol markers shaded in with what the base marker dots. You can see both in the face and in the leaves. It's uh, yeah, it's a nice technique if you ask me. Really quick and fun. And the same here with this one. No, that's right. That's also in the same way. Alcohol marker base and then uh, shade it in with water markers. Yeah, and that's it. So those were the enchanted whatever forest <laughs> by Forest Diver. Uh, next we have a horror one. Uh, so this is also by no it's not by forest diver so let's take this one first by forest diver this is a new one and i haven't finished anything but i have a work in progress and it's this one it's um, snow white yeah and this is just the base of alcohol markers right now and uh, yeah lovely pictures in here as always i mean i adore her art Next up we have, okay, let me just put this maybe over here. Okay, yeah, then we have the horror one. And here I have done two recently. I, and I have one work in progress. This is the work in progress one. It's not going well. <laughs> uh, this is alcohol marker base. And I wish I had gone for other colors, I think. But I also think it will work out all right when the shading is applied. Because like with the shading, I can sort of marry these weird colors, colors together. Um, but uh, right now, I'm not really a fan. Then we have... Uh, this one is a recent finish. I love it. Uh, this is a base with... Uh, Ink tense and then it's polychromos on top. And I don't think there's some alcohol marker in the skin tone. Then we have uh, this one, also a recent finish, done in the same way. Um, so it's ink tense and pencils on top. Love it! This was for a heart color along, but I didn't post it under the color along. But up there in the corner, there are some hearts. <laughs> So, <laughs> I adore it. I have no idea what fairy tale this is, though. I thought it was um, uh, Rapunzel, but uh, I don't remember a feast in Rapunzel, and yeah, I don't know. Lovely, lovely book. Adore it. Love how dark the, like, uh, having a frame like this just makes it so much more focused and, like, I don't know, I adore it. Uh, let's go for something light then. Let's see, yeah, okay. Uh, so before going into my Creative, ha creative Haven collection, let's look at the Flora Fa Fairies by Carol Craig. And this is a Dover coloring book. I think Dover is, uh, Creative Haven books are also, like Dover is the mother company or whatever. I don't know, I think so. And here I have... I think I have like two finishes. I have one work in progress, this one. Really like how she's turning out. Then I have this one finished. This is a recent finish. I really like how she turned out. And I don't think there's any glitter, but there could be. And I have, you see up here, I have like a crease throughout my book there as well. And it's uh, sort of a problem with the printing, I think. Like something went wrong when they printed in the machine. Uh, so it's a bit of a pity. Here's a work in progress. This is just a water-based marker base. Oh, and both these, all in here, are like a water-based marker base and then pencils on top. Uh, which kind of makes it... Oh, here's the one I finished also. Yeah, water-based marker base. Um, 
yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> and polychromos on top. And uh, yeah, I like her a lot. She's really pink skinned, but uh, hey, skin tones come, come, come in all sorts of colors. So that's how it goes. And yeah, that's it for floral fairies. Next up we have, let's, shall we go for Teresa Goodrich now? Okay, let's do that. I have a lot of Teresa Goodrich books because she's amazing. And then some, this is also Teresa Goodrich, I think. These two are both, no, okay, yeah, all right. Mm -mm -mm. So by Teresa Goodrich, I have spring scenes and I've colored this one. Uh, this was a whip for I don't know how long and I finished it in like February this year. So yeah, really happy about that. Uh, ink tens, polychromos, some Posca pens. And yeah, I think that's it. Oh, and there's some glitter gel pen also. I don't know if you can see that. Shine. It's a bit... No, nah, it's... I think that's all I have in here. Yeah, I have a page marked that I wanted to do. <laughs> I haven't done that yet. Could do it though. So, oh, it's a lovely, lovely book. Next we have Home Sweet Home. Here I've done this one. This is also a recent finish. This is done with uh, aquarelle. And I do have some severe buckling down here, but it's fine. And there's some uh, water-based marker for the frame as well, and there's some glitter gel pen for the for some of the patterns. But yeah, really muted colors, really like it. That's all. And next up in Winter Wonderland, I have one work in progress. This one has been a work in progress forever. Uh, this is water-based markers forever let me tell you and then i think i finished one this year right yeah i finished this one yeah in december 2021 and uh, it has a lot of uh, glitter gel pen on the decorations don't know if you can see that um i think it's an ink tan space and pencils on top you can check in that video from the completed pages. Uh, next up we have the autumn scenes. And here I have done a few more, I think. Yeah. So I have this one. This is um, Ink Tense. Possibly some uh, polychromos. But uh, yeah, I love the colors. I love that. Really, really love that. Oh, I love autumn. <laughs> uh, this one is also. Um, this is just aquarelle. I don't think I went over with uh, pencils on anything. I know I thought that I could, like for example, these pumpkins could be more shaded if I went in with pencils, but I also feel like it's uh, pretty as is. Maybe I should go in and do the frame though. It feels a bit unfinished without the frame. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's only two. I thought I'd done more. <laughs> Maybe it's only two. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> sure. And Country Christmas, I think I've done one. Yeah, it's this puppy sleeping. <laughs> uh, this is also a recent finish and it has Ink tens, polychromos, and then most of the shading is done with fine liner scribbling. So, for example, if you look there, you see the scribbling, and almost everything has those scribbly marks as shading. And uh, yeah, which made it really quick and fun and really enjoyable. Cute. Then we have Autumn Charm. Here I don't think I've done anything yet. It's a kind of new book. Yeah. But I love Autumn, so yeah, had to have that. 
country charm here. I think I have finished one. Yeah, this one. Uh, aquarelle again. Uh, this is for a challenge to not use, to not shade on top with pencils, I think. And it has some Gutta Gel pen as well in the scripture and in the frame. And I think that's it. Yep. Then we have summer scenes. And here my finish is, I have taken out my finish. It's in my folder. And it was done with gouache actually, which was really fun. I really should do that more. Here it is. It's this one. <laughs> it's so, um, yeah, you see, I colored, covered all the lines. So you can't see any of the, or, or in the, in the uh, windows you see the original lines but everything else is like colored with the uh, gouache and uh, therefore yeah it was like using her um, oh it's gouache and posca pens so the blue lines the more strict lines are with the posca pen um, yeah <laughs> Uh, a lot of fun, really a lot of fun. I recommend doing that if you're not uh, that familiar with uh, uh, gouache. That's a nice way of, I guess, practicing. It was fun. Next up we have Country Gardens. Oh, and this is the last one. And here I have done this one, which is also a recent finish. And this is aquarelle with polychromos on top. There is some uh, glitter gel pen again in the bolts. Probably can't catch the light on those. But yeah. Really like that. Like the colors. Okay. Next up we have Creative Cats by Marjorie Sarnat, I think. Yeah. And here I have. This is one of my oldest books. This is, I got this at the same time as I got Enchanted Forest. This one is a new start though. This is alcohol markers right now and some water based markers. And then we have my two card, cards, playing cards, cats. Um, yeah, um, which is water based markers and some gel pens. Love that. Um, yeah, we'll see how the rest of it goes. Mm, I don't know if there's anything else in the book. Oh yeah, okay. So I have this work in progress as well. I think I like how this is turning out. This is water based markers. Yeah, and I have a few finishes in my folder again. This one is one of my oldest ones. <laughs> I really don't like it, but it's fine. Uh, or like, you know, I, I this Zenduli art with these, uh, I don't know. I think I've revamped this like three times also. So the background or like going this gray, I think is a new thing. Uh, yeah, I think I have a few more cats somewhere here. There we go. I think actually this one might have been the first one I colored. Scientist cat. He is done with. Uh, oh, you can see that polychromos technique. So this is really old, and you can see my attempt at fur. I like that actually. It's like a different style. Um. And it kind of works against this dark background. The background is done with water-based markers. Yeah. Next up we have here... Um, this is by Martin Noble. Winter Scenes. And I have... Oh yeah, okay, so I finished this one. Uh, it's just water-based markers, nothing else, I think. No, I'm lying. There's some polychromos as well in the snow. But most of it is uh, water-based markers. And then I have 
think that's the only one. Yep. So this was also finished in this December. And it's uh, it was a work in progress for a long time. <laughs> but it's done now. And it has a lot of glitter. Both in the lake in the snow and in the frame. And it's... It has everything. <laughs> it was a, this was one of the struggles. Oh, and my, my rabbit has turned green again. Oh, in the face there. Maybe you don't really see it on camera. I can see it in real life. <laughs> I have like a big green blob there. And I had to cover the rabbit. He has like many, many layers of... I don't know if you can sort of see the texture now. Uh, he has many, many layers of the... Um, acrylic paint on top of him to try to make him white again <laughs> but uh, it's fine it's fine it's fine <laughs> um but yeah here on the back side you can also see the struggle and here's the big blob that covers half the rabbit <laughs> but it's fine uh i like how it turned out actually in the end um i like this muted i don't know i like the, the weird color combo going on I feel like, yeah, it turned out all right. Uh, then I have a new one here that's uncolored. The, um, my only George to fix this one and my only color by number. So yeah, this is just a uh, beautiful line art. And uh, I don't know if I will be following the uh, color by number thing, so I'll be doing my own thing. But uh, yeah, really happy to have that. Next up here is my only Jasmine Beckett Griffin book. Uh, I have a love-hate relationship with uh, this book. I adore some of the art. <laughs> what is it? Oh man. <laughs> Why do you sound like a dinosaur? What's wrong with you? What? What? I love these uh, bookmark things. Uh, wonderful, wonderful ladies. Uh, here's my uh, work in progress. It uh, this, this has been a struggle. Uh, it's gone through a lot of different iterations. Uh, I think I kind of like how it is right now. Maybe. Um, need to go in and shade the hair. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's really... Yeah. It's, um... I don't know about these leaves. If they should be shaded as well. And also, like, shading the hair is... I don't really find that so fun. I don't know. Oh, this one is... Oh, God. I need to either look at the tutorial or never touch Prismacolors again. So this was hell on earth <laughs> I hated it so much um, but I mean sure like after fighting it for like hours I did like this part is alright and this part is alright but like I mean it was I have another whip here yeah I mean you, you yeah I I don't really know about this book, y'all. Okay, but this is my whip. Has also been a struggle, gone through a lot of different iterations. This is hopefully the final one. Uh, it still has a lot of work to do on it, as you can see. Um, yeah, moving on. Kind of like her skin finally, though. Like the shading on it. Need to get more into her tail. No, 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 no. Nope. Um, I do have one finish. I do have one finish. Which kind of turned out alright. And it's somewhere... But yeah, like I keep glancing at Jasmine Beckett Griffin's uh, Halloween coloring book. But then I always remind myself that the book I own, I don't even like coloring in that. 
and so yeah. This is the one I finished. She turned out alright. Uh, her skin is not perfect. You can see the pen strokes a lot in real life at least. Um, but I like the color combo sort of. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's a finish. Uh, but I'm not really. Yeah, I don't know. I guess Jasmine Beckett Griffin might not be for me. Next up, we have Manic Botanic. This is another one of my really old books. And I have a lot of whips, a lot of pages' favorite marks. I just, I'm a bit sad that they don't have the either the Russian or Korean edition because they have better paper. Um, I instead have this really, I mean, it's like copy paper. Um, so yeah, but I have, this is a work in progress, it's just some ghetto gel pen and some blue in the water, and then I have, I know I have a lot of works in progress here, and I have two finishes in my folder, this one has been a work in progress for years, <laughs> and uh, not really sure I like it, but it has a lot of glitter on the bat, and uh, yeah. It will probably look really nice when it's finished, but right now I'm a bit skeptical of continuing it, sort of. Someday. This one has been a work in progress forever. I just, I adore Irina Vinik's designs. Love this one as well. Oh yeah, this has been a work in progress since Passionista Colorista's snail color along. <laughs> um, this is a base of uh, pastel. And then the plan is to go in with uh, polychromos and sharpen it up. Really yeah, like using that technique. Uh, makes for an interesting like uh, atmosphere in the picture I think. What a base marker base or like start I guess. Yeah that's it in the book and then my two finishes are both very green. Let's see if I can yeah there we go. So the frogs were my first Instagram post, I think. Um, they are, they have a lot of glitter gel pen. I really adore the fact that I actually like each area has a different color. Uh, I really like that. Uh, I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> of course, it's crazy. <laughs> it took it took ages, but uh, I really like the ender's result. And this is. Um, Water-based markers, gel pens. Yeah, that's it. I I just bought a really big set of gel pens at that time. Let me actually take this out. So, do you see all the glitter? A bit. Yeah, that. Yeah, it's really it's really glittery and nice. I really like this finish. Really, really like it. Look, the detail. Look, I colored in each area here <laughs> in two colors. Like, what? And even in these uh, flowers you see, like, I alternated. So much patience. <laughs> I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> Uh, this one uh, I'm a bit less happy with, um, yeah, mostly due to choosing a red caterpillar color. Should have chosen something else, but uh, yeah, I really like the sunflower though, with all the different bits and pieces colored in, and uh, yeah, and the overall effect is really nice. 
they're kind of similar. They're like part of a set. Really like those two. That's Manic Botanic by Irina Minik. Next up we have Hannah Lynn. And uh, this is my only Hannah Lynn book. I keep looking at her other books, but then I get reminded that I haven't colored that much in this one. Uh, it's a bit damaged. I don't know why. can't remember when that happened. Um, but yeah, I think I have a few works in progress. The rest, the finishes are in my folder. Right, here we go. We have My Little Red Riding Hood. Really like how this turned out. Uh, it's alcohol markers and polychromos on top. Really like that. A bit unoriginal with a red cape, but hey, <laughs> it's with a red riding hood. Um, yeah, I like this mermaid as well. She is also um, either alcohol and or water based markers and pencils on top. Then we have these two. Same technique. This one was a bit of a yeah, a bit of a struggle with the smoke. And I think this is also the case of oh no, it's not really turning out as they want it to. Let's apply stickles and Wink of Stella to everything. <laughs> so I don't know if you'll see it through. I mean, you can see the stickles, but this is also like shimmering in Wink of Stella. Uh, so yeah. No, yeah, she's fine. We have two more. In the end, I really like how this fairy turned out. I started out with the wrong skin tone though. I did her in gray skin tone for some reason. Um. I don't remember, but I really like her like this, actually. Yeah. And then uh, we have the pirate. Yeah, that's it for Hannah Lynn. Next up in my pile here is the uh, Fantastic Malbuch by Colin Thompson. I haven't finished a picture in here. Uh, it's the grayscale. I have difficulties with the grayscale. I don't like my pictures having a gray tint at the end, and I think most grayscale pictures give me that. I haven't really found found the technique to get rid of it. Um, or I have in some books, but yeah, no, it's been a while since I um, returned to this one. But this is in progress, and it's been in progress for years. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's a lot left to do here and I don't really like how this is turning out and I don't like how that turned out and because like it, um, yeah, like for example, this was like a wash because I think what they've done is basically taken his beautiful images and uh, scanned them and then turned it into grayscale um, which then makes all these like, like this for example this is obviously a really nice watercolor background and I would be so much more happy if they had given me you know just this line art piece and not included the uh, grayscale for the background because like in my head I see these wonderful rainbow colors here and I know I will never get that effect with this grey background. Like if I want this to be yellow, you know, it will have like a yellow grey tint. Unless I color it in gouache, I can do that. Maybe, maybe. I adore these pictures though. I absolutely adore them. Like there's a, there's a page with instruments which really speaks to me. Here it is. This one. But look how dark that is. Like, it's already done. <laughs> this is, yeah. Mm, maybe I should like 
try sketching this on my own instead, like using this in a, as an inspiration and try to sketch it in my sketchbook. I could do that actually. Or, you know, even just choose one little piece. <laughs> like, uh, just this. Try to sketch that out. See if I can make it work. That would be fun. That's a good idea. Uh, next up we have uh, Nordiska Gudar and Nordiska Väsen by Johan Egerkrans. I have only done one picture from each and they are both in my folder, but I do have a work in progress in the Nordic Gods and it's Angerboda, here we go. So yeah, I really like uh, this line art and I plan to make the wolves like coming out of the blue somehow. Uh, this is uh, Lyra water crayon space right now and uh, yeah I'm heavily inspired by Galadriel uh, which makes sense since Galadriel was inspired by Anger Buddha so yeah uh, lovely lovely line art um, I have some smears there but uh, hey but like yeah I think I've already gushed over Johan Egerkens art he has some wonderful art books as well yeah okay Shutting up now. <laughs> in Nordiska Väsen, I don't think I have a work in progress. Uh, or maybe I do. I have a few pages marked, but no. Uh, nothing in progress. I do have to finish this though. One for each. And it's... Here. So this is my dragon. This was for a dragon color alone. This page has everything on it. Uh, yeah, it has uh, ink tens, polychromos, Posca pens, gouache, um, everything. <laughs> but I really like it. I really like how it turned out. Um, yeah, and I added the leaves on my own, which I mean, they're obviously not the most. But I like that they kind of match the dragon and take it all, make it all go together. I added some leaves in the grass as well. Love this. And then here we have Odin sacrificing himself to himself. Uh, so yeah, uh, I really like this also. Uh, again, I think it has everything. The paper in the coloring books are really good. Oh, I added in the mountains there in the background on my own. They're not far from perfect, uh, but it's just a hint of mountains. Uh, I think they maybe have a better effect uh, in real life than on camera. Um, but yeah, again with the autumn leaves. Love me some autumn leaves. Yeah. Love this. So that's Johan Egerkrans, and then for the end, let's see here, we have some new books, the Matchstick Mouse books, and I, by Morgan O'Brien, and I have not colored in the autumn one, but uh, these are so cute, <laughs> they're so cute, no, that's not right, I have colored in the autumn one, which one haven't I colored in, we'll see, uh, yeah, okay. But uh, here's the autumn one. This is, uh, I think it's just polychromos and some black, yeah, some black uh, alcohol marker for some of the details. And but yeah, lots of fun. So cute. Then we have the Christmas coloring book. Um, I've colored this one. Um, this is Inktense and Pentec. Hybrid Dual Metallics and uh, Polychromos. Sergei is here visiting. This is probably the one I haven't colored in then. <laughs> yeah, the Halloween one. Uh, stop shaking the camera. <laughs> Sergei, get away. Stop. Just let me finish this. I'm so close to finishing. <laughs> 
And yeah, so in the Halloween, I haven't colored anything in this, but it's some wonderful line art. Okay, yeah, I'm going to stop filming now because Sergei is telling me to stop. <laughs>